that we are here at the <laughs> Gus Mac or the first night of it in Gwyn, and this is the first time it's ever been put on in Gwyn. And this is Jessica Steyer. She's been coordinating this whole effort that's going on right now. How are you doing tonight? I'm, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Now that things are started, I'm doing good. I'm doing well. Right, exactly. So what is going on here on the first night of Gus Macker? So the first night, um, it's always kind of like opening night. We want to make it about community. Um, so we have Battle of the Badges going on right now. So we have six different departments from around the UP battling it out on the courts. Um, and then so it's, it, and we also have the Special Olympians. So Battle of the Special Olympians. We have four Special Olympics teams over there playing, getting their chance to shine on Dream Court. And they they got some skill over there. It's awesome. Yeah, I saw that they, they, there's a team that's right now undefeated, right? Yes, yes. They, they're throwing up buckets. They got some moves over there. It's awesome. Good. Glad to yeah. hear that. And then this is the first time, like we mentioned, that it's ever been in Gwynn. Yeah. And so what does that mean for this community? Oh, my God. It's it's huge. Not only um, do we get to jump in on the 50th year and have it in our own Gwynn High School parking lot, which is in, right in the middle of our town, um, but just to bring people to our small town to let them know that, like, this is a pretty cool little place. We have a lot of great little businesses, um, a lot of uh, really great rental properties on the lakes, um, and just there's a lot going on here. All right. And so what can people expect for the rest of this weekend? Basketball. So lots of basketball going on. Um, we have food trucks going on. We have bounce houses. We have Fairy Mary paint, um, face painting. Um, and then uh, we also have a community fair going on. So we have like the women's centers here, um, UP Mobile Books. Um, the uh, Girl Scouts are over there. So we're, we have a community fair going on. We have food trucks going on. We have basketball going on all weekend long. Excellent. And so Local 3 is participating in it. We are the two-time Toilet Bowl champions. How do you think we're going to do this year? I, I saw the video. <laughs> And I saw the video clip, and I think you're definitely in line to win the Toilet Bowl again. You're definitely going to do it. You're going to do it. Excellent. Is there anything else you'd like to add, Jessica? No, I just want to thank the whole entire Gwynn community, um, Gus Macker, for trusting us in their 50th year in Forsyth Township. They've been amazing in this whole thing. So thank you to all of our sponsors, um, Eagle Mine, MJ Van Dam, for getting the, the courts here, um, and just everybody who believed in us and, and let us bring it to Gwynn. So thank you. Excellent. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you. Thank you. And, yes, and then in sports, Jake Durant is going to catch up with Jesse from the Forsyth Police. Police Department, so stay tuned for that. And we still have more coverage to give you live from here in Gwynn at the Gus Macker Basketball Tournament. So for now, I'm going to send it back to you, John, in the studio, reporting live in Gwynn, Rebecca Bartlemay, Local 3 News.